Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, this is Jen Gianni, and in a few of our previous videos, we talked about that um, the upper ribs, the clavicle, manubrium, how that works with the turn of the head and the arms. And here we're gonna do a supine exercise, one of my favorites, um, to encourage more of that good movement, that counter rotation between our thorax, our cervical spine, um, and through our glenohumeral joint also. All of that communicating in our, our upper back and cervical spine. So you'll be supine, and then you're gonna set up your elbows in line with your shoulders with your fingertips up towards the ceiling. And you can actually just relax your pelvis and your legs together. Just try to let your pelvis be heavy, let it go. And the important thing about this is that you're finding the movement from the top of your arm bone and that your wrist and your forearm, hand and fingers are staying in line. Doesn't matter if your hands touch the floor. So we'll keep our head in the center first, and then on your inhale, you're rotating one arm up and one arm down. You wanna to try to feel equal-ish weight in your shoulder blades, your ribs, and your pelvis, and then from the top of the arm, you bring it up. Then you go to the other side, and you really pay attention to the difference in shift and in weight in the back of the body, side to side. And then we can start to add the turn of the head. So on the inhale, I'm gonna bring my right arm up, my left arm down. I'm gonna find a little bit of cervical flexion and I'm gonna slowly turn my head to the right. So in this scenario, my, my head is turning to the right, cervical spine is rotating to the right, and it's translating to the left. In opposition, my thorax has a relative rotation to the left. And then I'm slowly coming back to center. I'm gonna go in the opposite direction. So my left arm is going up, trying to move from the top of my arm bones. And then I'm gonna be looking to the right, sweeping the, or looking to the left, <laughs> sweeping the floor to the right. And I have a little relative rotation in my thorax to the left. And then slowly back to center. So this is a great way to reinforce all the visualization work we did in the previous video, the release um, on the underneath side of the collarbone that we did with the small ball. And then to add this is really gonna prime the whole upper back neck and head for really good movement. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.